So there's a lot of different things uh, that can be done here. So I'm going to kind of get that back to zero. Let's put this back to zero. Okay. Okay, so there are a few, there are a lot of different warp effects, as you can see here. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, just play around with them and do what you can and have fun. Uh, on a, uh, our future lesson, when we go into more intermediate, intermediate uh, lessons, um, there's a lot more to explore there. Okay, so for now, that is it for the warping tool. So let me go here and check that off. So I can keep my place because you know artists have a reputation for being flaky. Uh, and while I'm not as flaky as most artists that I know, it does create, it is, it is good, good to have these lists to um, check on to. And now I'm getting this again so let's see if I could just press and get my uh, what is going on how come this is being so temperamental Okay, so now we've covered warp effects. So now let's do stylize. So I'm going to go back to my layers where I have my shapes on. And I'm going to, uh, not, we're going to do graphic styles. Now you hear it's right next to the appearance panel. And you hear you have a few defaults that are already here. And there's many more graphic styles that you can use, 3D effects, additive, artistic, buttons and rollovers. So if you do a lot of web work, that could come in handy. Uh, neon effects, they even have scribble effects here. So I'm not gonna go through all of these. You can play with those at your leisure. Um, so let's just deal with the ones that are in the default box right now. So you select an object, apply the effect. So you see it got rid of, um, the effect that we applied earlier with the warp. So you can't apply the graphic style onto the warp effect because it's overriding everything. So I can apply another graphic style there. Select my twisted star. And again, it removes uh, the previous effect that I had with the twist. And here, now, if I go back to the appearance panel, I can see that I have two fill objects, and these are part of the uh, presets, uh, what's been done in the graphic style. But everything in here is completely editable. So if I want to add a stroke, I get a five point stroke, and the color is yellow. And the same here. Again, I have everything selectable. So I can go in, add a stroke, Make this uh, seven point, and let me add another stroke. And I'm going to make that yellow and that seven point also. So now I'm going to offset that path, which we learned in the last lesson. So I'm going to offset that by minus seven. Preview it to be sure it goes where I want to go, which is inside, which is correct. Okay, so you can see that these graphic styles are completely editable. Now, even though I have these things, so I've done all of this, I've done the scribbles, and I can use those within um, the file that I want, but suppose I do something, I spend a lot of time, I need to spend a lot of time here, but suppose you spend a lot of time, or I spend a lot of time, you know, creating something that's really neat, and I want to keep it. Well, I'm going to show you how to save the graphic styles. So I have this one selected, so I'm going to go to Graphic Styles, and I go to New Graphic Style, and I have a dialog box that comes up, and it says Graphic Style, so I'm going to change it to something else. 
uh, let's call it bumblebee because of the colors. And let me save this style. And you see uh, an icon popped up that showed exactly what it is, which is very handy. Because some icons don't show up, which we'll get to in just a bit. So let me create a new graphic style from the star. So let me call this yellow wave. Okay, and again an icon popped up that shows us what's there. Now, let me go to the layer where we have our scribbles at. So I can select that one, go to graphic styles, new graphic style, and that is our medium. So we'll call that medium scribble. Now you can see that pops up here is not quite as uh, eloquent icon as the previous one, uh, but you can see a, a text box comes up that a call out comes up that tells you what it is. Okay, I selected the second one. Let's go to new graphic style, and I'm going to call that one dense. Select OK. Go to our third one. And that's our light scribble. Okay, so we have all this saved. Now, right now, it's only available in this document because if I create a new document, then it disappears. You saw it disappear right there, so it's not available. So how can I use this in another document? Let me show you. So let's go back here. So I want to use the ones I created so I'll shift click so I'll pick the one just before the new ones I created and shift click and throw that in the trash yes and those are the defaults so those are always there so you can throw those away at random so here are the new ones that I selected so now what I want to do is to save a library so go down here to save a graphic style library and this pops up so let's call these lesson five and you see it's being saved in the graphic styles folder right here. I'm going to replace that because that was the one I did earlier. Okay, now all of these are here in this box. Now, when I go to my newly created one, it disappears again. But this is how I will access it by going to Open Graphic Style Library. And now you see down at the bottom it says user defined, and on user defined, lesson five appears. So I'll click lesson five, and all the styles that I created pop up. So let me just create some type here. I have a lisp, it was. Okay, let's choose a bold font so we can see what we're working with here. And let's duplicate that. Get a shape. And let's duplicate again. Again, I'm holding down the option key and just dragging. And when you see that little uh, uh, white cursor appear behind the black cursor, then you know you have your option key uh, working. Okay, so now I have my letters. And up here, I've used my scribbles. Now, these, these are hard to see, so you can change that. Hard to see what it is because all all three look like the same scribbles, unlike the pre the icons in front of it. So let's go to small list view, and then you can see uh, what scribbles are available. So now I can see which ones are medium, dense, and scribble. So I've used medium, so now I want to use dense, 
and use light. And the same here. Use now. Here's the glitch I mentioned earlier that will happen because I created these um, styles with with type with fonts. It does automatically apply to shapes that I created. But I'm going to show you how to work around that. So this is what you will get when you happen. So we go to our appearance panel and we apply a fill and now it bounces back. Now if I want to put you know a stroke in here I can do that which is not part of the original but like I said all of these are modifiable okay so there so the same thing will happen with these but with these I'm not going to use that because I've already shown you that so let's show what happens with I apply that yellow wave and I can apply my bumblebee style to here now you remember that bumblebee style was applied to a rectangle and even so it doesn't matter what the shape is it's just picking up the style so here is that style applied to a star okay so that is graphic styles oh that's the new layer so here's graphic styles so that completes our lesson for today. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you wanted to see this. So just remember, go forth and create, and there will be many more lessons to come.